We've all experienced the moments where we find a job post on LinkedIn worthy of our skill set. And with great enthusiasm, we apply to send in our resume and our cover letter where applicable, only to find ourselves waiting and, well, crickets. Well, in this video, I will show you how to directly get into conversations with recruiters so you can have an advantage in securing your next job coming up. Now, if you clicked on this video, more than likely it's because you are primed and ready for employment and perhaps you haven't had a successful run landing a position. Now, I get it. You're competing with hundreds of other applicants. Well, one of the best ways to give yourself an edge is to stand out in the eyes of the recruiter and form connections so that when you're being considered, there is rapport and promise on your side. So I'm here in LinkedIn looking at a potential role that might suit skill set of my own. And so this was posted just a week ago and it also has highlighted a person who may be on the hiring team. This is a great opportunity for me to reach out to that person so that I can have a better chance at getting through with my application. So first we will establish a connection with the individual and look for genuine interest common between yourself and the recruiter. And this will come in handy when you are ready to craft your message, which I'm going to talk about in a second here. So what I'm going to do is head over to that person's profile. So now that I'm here in her profile, what I can do is use a nifty tool like magical to scrape her email. So we have a direct way of communicating with her. So to do so, I'm going to click on this option here, and this will be once I've downloaded magical, the link will be in the description, by the way. And I'm going to click on this option at the top here, which says find email. So it's going to scrape her email and give us access to it. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, we have her email here. Now I'm going to blur it out, but I assure you it is there until so we can go ahead and copy this to the clipboard so that we can use it in an actual email address. Now, once we have a contact, we're going to craft a non creepy, but respectful and direct message to spur engagement. Now you're probably wondering, how do I not sound creepy talking to a complete stranger asking them for a job? Well, great question. We definitely don't want to spook them. And there's a possibility that you're not the only one messaging them. And honestly, I can probably guarantee that you're not the only one. So here are some tips for personalizing your message. First, do your research. Look through the recruiter's LinkedIn profile for any shared interests, mutual connections, or projects that they would have worked on. The second is you want to be genuine. Personalize the message by mentioning any specific details to show that you've actually put in effort. Next, I'd say compliment them. Acknowledge their achievements, if any, and show genuine admiration of their work. And don't fake it though. If there's nothing to compliment, then just be polite and respectful. Show appreciation for their time and their insight. So here's Here's an example of a message you can send for a role of this nature. Hi Jane, I came across your profile while exploring TikTok's team. I noticed your notable work in the recent creator campaign and found it particularly inspiring. As someone passionate about creating content and marketing, I'd love to connect and possibly learn more about your journey and experiences at TikTok. Thank you for your time and consideration. Best regards, Michael Cunningham. Next, you want to craft a message requesting information on the role to see if you're a good fit or to be introduced to someone who you can speak to about the role. Hi Jane. I hope you're doing well. I'm excited about the product operation content and creator ecosystem role at TikTok that was posted about a week ago. The position greatly piques my interest as it aligns closely with my skills and passion. And here's where you can mention a passion of your own. Could you share more details about the role and the hiring process? Additionally, if there's someone else I should speak to about this opportunity, I would appreciate it if you could connect us. Thanks for your help. Best regards. Be sure to include your name, your LinkedIn profile, and your contact information. So here are some tips for personalizing this message. You want to highlight specific interests. Mention some specific aspects of the role or the company that aligns with your skills and passion. You also want to be direct, but polite. You know, clearly state your request while showing respect for their time. And I've always found it best to keep it short. You want to keep the inquiry concise to ensure it is easy to read and to respond to. And just a reminder here that these templates that I'm talking about will be available in the description below. Hi Jane, I hope you're doing great. I wanted to follow up and let you know that I'll be submitting my resume and officially applying for the product operation content and creator ecosystem role at TikTok. Thanks so much for referring me and for taking the time to provide valuable insights about the role. I greatly appreciate it. I'm genuinely excited about the possibility of potentially working with you and the team. Let's stay connected and hopefully we'll be colleagues soon. Thanks again for your support, best regards, and here's where you can include your name. Now here are some key tips for personalizing 
utilizing this particular follow-up message. You want to show appreciation. Make sure to genuinely thank them for their time and help. Then you want to keep the enthusiasm, express your excitement about the opportunity and potential collaboration. And let's keep it professional while adding a personal touch ensure the message remains professional. So to make yourself a little bit more productive as you may be applying to multiple roles, what you can do is use Magical to craft templates. If you didn't know, Magical has a template feature so that you can add these messages inside of the workspace, save them and use them inside of Gmail or any other email client that you're using. We've done a number of videos showing you how to use templates and how to configure these templates inside of Magical to be used in your email client. So be sure to watch those as well. And just quickly, I'm gonna show you that I actually added all of these templates in here, which I'll be sharing with you. The link will be in the description and you can use these with the trigger. For myself, I just created these uh, several different triggers. First outreach, second outreach, and then recruit a follow-up so that I can simply type that into the text area of the email and to be used and sent off immediately. Now, this process is not a guarantee, but it does put you top of mind if acknowledged, and it gives you an advantage over other applicants who don't take this approach. Now, remember, your goal is to stand out above the crowd. And if you do it well, recruiters will thank you for taking such an approach as it also makes their job easier. Sweet, so I hope this was helpful. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Also, don't forget you can get access to these templates and Magical for free by using the link in the description below. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.